Welcome to the Kalispell Warhawks Dynasty. My name is Mr. Hurricane. It's senior day for Kalispell as they play their final home game here as the snow falls against Utah State. Both teams are 8-2 and, and have a chance to win the Mountain Division. It's a three-way tie at the very top. The loser of this game will likely not have a chance to play for the conference championship. Utah State has one of the better defenses Kalispell will have seen, and it's a very balanced team overall. They've surprised me this year. And we've got a great matchup here on Senior Day. Here we go. Lorenzo Bell sends us off, and we're underway in Kalispell. On the return is Morian Walker Jr. And Kalispell brings him to the ground around the 25 yard line. Now Kalispell is coming off their most exciting game this year, a dramatic victory against Wyoming. And that has them at eight and two. This is Jordan Love to throw on first down. A good pass outside the numbers complete to Steven Williams. The Aggies on first down come out in the eye formation. Walker to the outside to midfield and bumped out by Jay Page. That's a 13-yard run as Walker closes in on 1,000 yards rushing. He gets the carry again. Big hole left side slips a tackle of Jared Merritt. That's 10 more. Staying in the eye. The power focus as Love goes back to the air. And there's Perkins on the outside toward the 20-yard line. And quickly, Utah State. Getting into the red zone. Kalispell stacking the box, but again a throw. Love has all day. No one can get near him. And eventually breaking wide open in the end zone is Steven Williams. Kalispell couldn't get any kind of pressure. And eventually someone's going to get open. But you wouldn't think open by that much. So a 7-0 start for the Aggies. Does Kalispell have an answer ready? They come out with three receivers in JR Battle. Hands it to Roscoe Sheridan. Tracked down after a four-yard pickup. Sheridan with a career-high eight rushing touchdowns on the year. Play action now. Battle dodges the rush. Loads up, and that is incomplete. He gets pummeled as he was about to take a shot for Ja'Cory Day, it appeared. Third down now for Kalispell. Pressure picked up, and Battle delivers to Ja'Cory Day. It's a 12-yard connection first down. Ja'Cory comes in, 454 yards receiving on the season. This is Sheridan cutting it back to the right, showing the power, and he keeps his balance. The tough running of Roscoe Sheridan goes for about nine yards. And there's that determination that makes Sheridan such a fun back to watch. Third and one, it's Sheridan staying on his feet again, first down. Roscoe Sheridan getting it done. Miller checks in now as Roscoe earns a rest. Blitz picked up, pass down the middle is complete to Donnie Castillo. That's a 24 yard connection. Castillo now over the 500 yard milestone. Give to Sheridan, taken down. Good job by the linebacker. That was Joe Price. Lamar Williams checks in, slot right. Blitz sent at battle. He gets this away complete. Amante Jones in for the Kalispell touchdown. Utah State has sent the pressure early on, but JR Battle stands tall and delivers a perfect throw. And there's Amante Jones, who's played very good football recently. Tie game. Both offenses look pretty good on their first drives. And now it's Utah State football. Walker gets good yardage out of a play where it didn't look like he had much room. The single high safety is Jay Page and Love is thrown down immediately. No one picking up Jared Merritt. After not getting much pressure on the first drive, good to see them make this play. Warhawks have it at their own 35 yard line. And this is Roscoe Sheridan, but not much room for him to work with. Quickly taken down. Spreading out this defense with the speed. Battle third and eight. There's the rush around the right edge and the ball is knocked out. Scooped up by Sheridan, but this drive is coming to an end. Kalispell really needs to protect JR Battle a lot better than they're doing. Jeff Childs kicks this away and this is Eric Irvin on the return. Angling to the near side into open space and tripped up. Falling across the 50 yard line. So the Yaggies get a short field. Brit the motion man. Love giving to Walker. Right up the middle and falling forward. This is a good run of eight. 
We don't see too many teams focus on the I formation anymore. But out of the shotgun and Love keeping this to the outside and gets drilled. But we'll get a first down regardless. Love with 13 touchdowns on the season, just three interceptions. Now it's Walker trying to bounce this off tackle, but good luck with John Charles in pursuit. It's third and 10, Blitz. And a screen set up, perfect call. Walker to the outside is brought down by Elgin McCormick, just shy of the marker. 10-7 Utah State as this first quarter is coming to an end. Again, Kalispell getting the ball in the hands of Sheridan, weaving his way through the defense for about eight. Here's a 3-3-5 look from Utah State, just three on the rush. Battle now with time to throw, airs it out. Knocked away from Amante Jones and nearly picked off by Corey Chase. As the second quarter gets underway, third down Warhawks. Battle again, chased. Needs to get rid of it and find Sheridan. That'll be a first down up to midfield. Warhawks on the move. Kalispell opening this game with a much more balanced approach. Four on the rush. Battle just gets this away. Taking a shot for Ja'Cory Day inside the 10. They connect for 43 yards. What a throw by Battle under heavy pressure as Day lays out for another great play. First and goal, Warhawks, there's a blitz. And Battle rolls right and has no choice but to throw it away. Utah State calling a very aggressive game. They know what they want to do. Toss left, no chance, Roscoe Sheridan. Loss of four. Now a third down from beyond the 10. Four receivers in the game and Corey Miller heads out to the slot. They want a screen here, McClellan inside the five and down to the one. Nearly got in and Kalispell will bring on the field goal team. You might consider going for it there, but Utah State's D-line has played really well. It's a 10-10 game, and love out to Williams again. Kalispell just can't seem to cover him. 14 more. Here's the offset look. Love to Walker, tries to cut it back, and runs into a wall. And that wall is Malcolm Neal. Kalispell up tight in press coverage. On second down, Love nearly lost his footing, still has time, and heaves it downfield, they got it. 24 yards to Waters. Kalispell needs to do a better job contesting these downfield passes. Here's Love with an easy throw to Harris. Right near the sticks, I think that's another first down for the Aggies. Utah State's offense off to a strong start in the opening half. Love across the middle and Waters is taken down but has the football in his grasp. Now it's third and three, give to Walker. To the outside as he breaks the tackle and powers ahead for the extra yardage. A determined run by Maury and Walker Jr. Here's the bunch look again from Utah State. Love steps up and there's Weber across the middle. Another catch for Utah State. The receiver's doing a phenomenal job. Second 10 inches and Walker again right up the middle and denied at the one yard line. But Utah State not having too many issues getting down the field. First and goal, everybody bites, touchdown, Jordan Love. With the way Walker is running, why wouldn't everyone pay attention to him? But still, you have to stay disciplined when the quarterback can keep it. Utah State back up by seven as Kalispell comes out in the split shotgun. Battle, it's up for grabs, nearly intercepted. He was trying to get the deep ball to Ja'Cory Day, but the pressure got there just in time. On second and 10, a completion now outside the numbers. Eight for Jones. Four of six on third down, good start. Now third and two, Roscoe Sheridan right up the middle. There's five and a new set of downs. 3.1 yards a carry so far for Sheridan. Now they toss it and Miller doesn't get any help as he is hammered in the backfield. Loss of three. Day slot left as the Warhawks back up. Yet another blitz sent at battle as he's chased out. Heaves in desperation, there's Day. Spin back to the inside, nice play Ja'Cory. And how about the plays battle is making despite all the pressure? They have not given him a chance to be comfortable yet. Three receivers to the right now, including Lamar Williams. Battle steps up. Still waiting for someone to get open, and he gets sacked. Loss of three. Against this defensive line, you probably can't wait that long. 
Third and 13 now. Battle, drifting right, chase, taken down. Loss of six and Kalispell well outside field goal range. The Aggies have a chance to add even more points before the half, but they have to do it quickly. 51 seconds to go, Love underneath, and Waters getting past Neal. That's a first down gain of 17. 47 seconds remaining, now at their own 40. Love to the sideline, intercepted! It's picked off by Malcolm Tyson, and the Warhawks get a big takeaway. That's exactly what this defense needed. The crowd gets back into it, and now the Warhawks have a chance to get points. 36 seconds to go. Battle, intercepted, and Utah State takes it right back. Weber on the play. Battle wanted Justin McClellan, and maybe there was a miscommunication here on the route, but Weber reads it perfectly, and Utah State gets their opportunity right back. Love with 30 seconds, finds Williams, and that'll get them a little bit closer. Another first down, and they'll probably be in field goal range. Love with a deep drop to the sideline again. That is caught inbounds, they say, by Daniel Waters. The Aggies are in range now as Love dumps it off to Perkins. Blue jersey surrounding him as he doesn't get much. And the Aggies head into hurry up mode. They're saving their last time out. They'll run one more play, but there's not much time left. Perkins, the clock hits triple zeros, and this first half is over. Neither team does a very good job in the final minute trying to get points. So we go into the break, 17-10 Utah State in another very competitive football game. Let's get this second half underway. Kalispell down seven, looking for win number nine on senior day. They have the ball to start the second half. JR Battle in the shotgun. Aggies dial up the blitz. And wide open is Oscar Williams. He'll plow over a defender and pick up 11 yards to move the chains. Sheridan to Battle's left. He'll carry on second down, cutting up the middle and falling forward. Good run by Sheridan. Two tight ends in the game, plus Corey Miller on third down. Pressure up the middle, Battle has nowhere to go. Lost the football, Utah State takes it. The pressure continues to mount on JR Battle, and this time it results in the Utah State takeaway. Kalispell just losing the battle up front and it's hurting them in the air and on the ground. Here's Walker on first down, nice hit, and that's Chris Smith. Unfortunately, Kalispell still having trouble tackling Walker on first contact. Now it's third and 11, Love forced to the air, going deep and knocked away, nearly intercepted. It's the junior safety, the hometown kid, Kelly John Charles with the big defensive play. Still, we're gonna see a long field goal try for the Aggies, and this kick has no shot, pushed wide right. And the Warhawks take over in what is still a one score game. Sweep Sheridan, met on the outside, and he can't get back to the line of scrimmage. Here's their speedy four wide personnel with Day and Archer in the slot. Time for battle, taking a shot. There's Amante Jones deep downfield, getting behind the safeties. Inside the 15, 50 yards. We're seeing Amante Jones more and more come through when Kalispell needs a play. Now it's first and 10, two tight ends in the game. Battle, hit again, and down he goes. Every receiver in the pattern was in the end zone. Kalispell wanted six and nothing less. Now they have to back up. Across the middle, Amante Jones. He is still not down, gets back to his feet, and it's third and inches now for the Warhawks. What's the call here? JR battle to the air. He fires to the end zone, and it's dropped by Ja'Cory Day. He had the chance to tie the game. But Kalispell brings the offense back on the field, but they have a full start. And now they're gonna kick it. Kalispell has gotten very close twice, but they've had to settle for field goals. And now it's 17-13. Here's the offset eye look again from Utah State. Blitz sent at Love. He gets it away, cut by Weber. There's 13 yards. Now they go to the I formation. Love to Walker. Going off tackle to the 40. Dragged down by Chris Smith, but eight yards on the pickup. Three receivers all to the right side on second down. 
And the keeper now, Love, first down and more. Cuts up field, he breaks a tackle, and Howell misses. Big run for Jordan Love, shoved out by Chris Smith. This play should have been made around midfield, but instead, 35 extra yards. Now Utah State in the red zone, as Walker heads outside, gets the edge, touchdown Utah State. They have brought the fight to Kalispell with their physical approach, and Morian Walker continues a very strong performance with this touchdown run. Third quarter beginning to wind down as Kalispell finds themselves down 11. Battle gets some extra time and finds Day on the outside. That'll go for 12. Castillo to the right slot on first down. Another blitz and a quick throw. Amante Jones brought down around the 40. to give him generous forward progress as well. Second and two, here's Sheridan. Again, cutting it back and he'll get four. But Sheridan held to 3.4 yards a carry in this game. On second down. Time for battle off play action. He heaves it to a wide open Jacory Day to the 10 and spinning out at the five yard line. I think we all expected much more of this in the first season of JR Battle at quarterback. Jacory Day getting the big plays and Kalispell back inside the 10. Can they finish this time? Yes, they can. Touchdown. Donnie Castillo from six yards out, just his second on the season but a big score for Kalispell to make it a one-score game. They'll, of course, go for two, down five. Battle scans, hit again and nearly sacked, and the throw is incomplete. But it's a one-score game, so can Kalispell's defense step up? Harris motions to the right, Walker follows him on the carry. There's a first down, Maury and Walker continuing to grind out big runs on this defense. Maybe the last play of the quarter right here. Love with everyone covered, but he has all day and eventually gets it downfield and Waters comes away with it for 28. And that will take us to the fourth quarter. Another very good game, but Kalispell has not led. They hope to change that. Here's a give to Walker. Stiff arms John Charles, but is taken down by Smith. Here's a big play for the Warhawk defense, third and five. Blitz handle, love, complete to Weber. His receivers have come through for him today. They have not dropped a pass. Now it's back to the run. Walker running left and taken down after a gain of four. Now it's third and two. No safety in the middle of the field. Now Page retreats, love, through the hands of Jensen and incomplete. Kalispell forces fourth down, but the Utah State offense is going nowhere. Fourth and two, Walker, first down, Aggies. And you can see just how much they trust Morian Walker with the way he's ran today. That was a huge run. First and goal, it's Walker again, heading to the edge, breaks a tackle, falls across the goal line, Walker does it again. He's just been too much for Kalispell today. He's gotten yards after contact on almost every run. And to see them get in position to make the play and consistently fail to make it is very disappointing. Utah State again pulling ahead by two scores as Kalispell trails by 12. Here's a play fake and battled to the outside. He's gonna keep this one with no one open. 11 yards now for JR Battle. Ja'Cory Day slot right along with Castillo. Another blitz and down goes JR Battle. The Aggies have stuck to their game plan the entire way. Back to second and 18. Four on the rush, Battle takes a shot, going deep, knocked away from Ja'Cory Day. That was not even close. Third down and 18. Here's a blitz from the secondary, Battle. Lobbing down the middle and nearly intercepted by Zach Swenson. And that's going to force Kalispell the kick. It's fourth and 18. We saw a great defensive battle against Wyoming. Today, Kalispell just hasn't been able to match what Utah State has done defensively. Here's Walker on first down, spinning off a tackle. And it seems like every carry is going for at least four yards. Love delayed, Walker going down. There we go, Nate Graham makes the tackle. It's a loss. Now Kalispell needs this stop. Third and seven, it's a screen. 
It's out to Walker again, and he gets close to the marker after delivering a stiff arm, but is tackled by Page. Kalispell gets the football back, and there is no room for error and no time to waste. First and ten. There's pressure as Battle is hit again. That's an incomplete pass. So many times, Battle has tried to throw as soon as the pressure arrives. Battle, this time is sacked. It's a loss of 11. They've struggled to protect him all game long, and now they've dug themselves into a third and 21 hole. Everyone covered, and Battle is sacked again. That makes it fourth and 28. Game potentially on the line. What can you possibly do here if you're Kalispell? Four receivers in the game, and they have to go deep. Here's a blitz picked up by Sheridan. Battle stays on his feet. Somehow gets this away, and the ball is dropped by Sonny Archer. I don't know how JR Battle got out of there, but he did, and somehow gave his team a chance to make a play. Sonny Archer, if he catches this pass, I don't know how far he goes, but it at least moves the chains. The Aggies take over, and Morian Walker sprints into the end zone for another score, and Utah State looks to put the finishing touches on this game. Utah State always seemed in pretty good control of this game, and it began with their defensive play. Here is Archer on the return now as he flies up the sideline, trying to make up for his drop, and this will help. Spinning across the 30, but Kalispell right now has their score doubled up by Utah State. 2.37 to go on senior day. Battle gets this away, caught by McClellan. Again, Battle crushed in the pocket and makes a throw that I have no idea how he makes. It's first and goal. JR Battle to the end zone, count it. Touchdown, Ja'Cory Day. And we're back to a two-score game. So can Kalispell get this football back? We'll find out here in a moment. Two-point try, down 13 through the hands of Jones in good coverage. And now the onside kick, Lorenzo Bell. It is tipped and recovered by Weber. Looks like Kalispell touched it first, but too early. So Utah State football. Kalispell will spend their timeouts and give themselves the best chance. Walker tackled by TJ Strong, third and long. Britt in motion on third and 13. It's Maury and Walker into the secondary and taken down as Kalispell burns their final timeout. They need two scores in two minutes with no timeouts. JR Battle on first down. Outside catch made. Jacory Day. He gets back up. JR has them in the no huddle on first down. There's the rush. Battle again taken down. The rush has been there all game long. Third and 17, Battle has time, airs it out deep, intercepted by Zach Swenson, and that is your ball game. The Aggies will go on to win 38 to 25. JR Battle and the Warhawks fought hard, but Utah State was just the better team today, quite simple. In the all-important trench battle, you can say Utah State won easily on both sides of the football. We had some chances for some big plays downfield, and I can't remember a game with as many plays where as soon as we're ready to throw it, that's when the pressure gets there and the pass can't get out cleanly. There were a couple plays where we had Ja'Cory Day and just a little more time would have meant big yardage. JR could have thrown for 400 plus in this game and Ja'Cory could have had 200 receiving yards, really. It was still a big day for both players in the stat column as Day ends up with 157 and a score. But of course, the bigger deal is that Kalispell falls to 8-3 and, and will not be playing in the conference championship. We'll go ahead and look at recruiting now and I think a recruiting class is shaping up really nicely. We're focusing on a lot of our needs and we've gotten many key players. Two more decisions made this week with Antoine Jordan staying in California as he'll go to Cal. And then Marcus Payne from New Jersey has decided on Kalispell, the four-star running back. I like the combo of Sheridan and Miller. They're going to be seniors next year. And afterwards, it could be all about Marcus Payne and Marty Belafonte who are a part of this recruiting class. As we check out the rest of the board, I'm deciding to pull out of the Walter Garcia recruiting battle. 
Eastern Michigan is being very aggressive, and I want to start focusing on other players because we don't need Garcia that badly, and I'm trying to focus on players like Wesley Merrill. This battle is really tough, and I don't want to fall out of it. I'm hoping we can take it to the offseason and get really aggressive for Wesley Merrill. In what is already a promising recruiting class, getting Wesley Merrill would be incredible. He has game-changing potential, I believe. Now, in our last regular season game of the year, we're going to take a trip out to Hawaii. Kalispell looks to bounce back heading into bowl season as they'll take on the Rainbow Warriors. They have the 31st ranked rushing offense and I hope to see us play much better in the trenches and hopefully do a better job tackling, but Freddie Holly is on the verge of 2,000 rushing yards so I know it's not going to be an easy test. Here are the division standings as Kalispell has lost to both teams ahead of them. Taking a look at Hawaii's roster, of course, Freddie Holly, their senior running back, is the leader of their offense. Then they have three very good receivers as well, so they have options as to how they want to attack the defense. But when it comes to their defense, they don't really have a lot of top-tier talent. So this could end up being one of the higher scoring games of the season. We'll see how things play out. Still, it's been a very fun year for the Kalispell Warhawks, and I'm excited to see how this season ends. We still have a chance to get to 10 victories once again, and of course play in another bowl game. So that is going to do it for this episode. Please leave your feedback down below in the comment section. Also, leave a like on the video. Those are much appreciated and are very helpful to the series. And I will see you all with more Kalispell Warhawk football soon. Have a great day.